La Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? happening to the wild horse herd. Fred Berry's men. There ought to be a log in them wholesale roundups. Well, as long as they're getting them off the open range, they're not doing anything illegal, Pete. But if he keeps taking horses out of this country like he's doing, we'll be horse ranchers without horses. Be like starting all over again. But I think our only hope is to breed some horses. Pete, I think we better take a run up to Snow Valley tomorrow and see what we can do about buying a thoroughbred mare. Can I go? Well, somebody's got to watch the store, Joey, and that's you. Okay, Jim. You think you can handle a ranch on your own for a holiday, Joey? I can sure try. Yep. If the broken wheel's going to stay in business, looks like getting a good stock of thoroughbreds is the only thing to do. for the thoroughbred mare. Oh, looks like we're leaving the ranch in good hands, huh, Pete? <laughs> I'm only trying to do as good as you two would, Jim. And of all the nerve, what's that dead burned Fred Berry doing coming here? Morning, gents. Where's the horse that goes with that thing? I'm on my way to buy her. Buy, and all you gotta do is chase out in a range and pick up all you want for nothing? Well, I'd rather shut down than operate the way you do. When we bring horses in from the range, we break them to saddle so they can help some rancher make an honest living. <laughs> some living. A couple of bucks every now and then, barely enough to keep your head above water. Well, at least we can look people squarely in the eye. It ain't fitting to round up horses wholesale just to sell them to a slaughterhouse. You ought to keep up with the times, Pete. This ain't 1900. Get yourself organized like I am. Progress. Well, if that's progress, I'm glad I'm a little old-fashioned. Not too old-fashioned to turn your hand to make an honest dollar. I know you've been having things kind of rough. Got a proposition for you. Might help. What is it? You know, I gotta ship my horse by way of three forks. That's 30 miles out of my way. If I can cut across your land, it'll save me some time and some money. Well, don't you take the cake. Now he wants us to help him strip the range of horses. I ain't asking something for nothing. You go along with me, I'll pay you $10 a head. I wouldn't go along with you for 10 times that amount. There's the gate. You've got 30 seconds to get off my land. You had your chance, Newton. Before I finish stripping this range, I'll see you busted high, white, and handsome. Right now, $10 a head's a lot of money, Jim. Maybe we should have been a little more friendly. You know, Fred Berry's not the kind of man I want to get friendly with, Pete. Not even if I go broke and have to hire out as a hand for somebody else. My sentiments exactly. There must be some way to stop him. None that I know of, Joey. But I've seen Fred Berry's kind before. Give them enough rope and they generally get to the end of it all by themselves. Meantime, we better get going if we're going to get back here before dark. Yeah. Joey, you got the broken wheel all to yourself. Yep. You got all day to act like a boss. <laughs> First thing the boss should do around here. The first thing to take care of the star border. Okay, Fury, that's plain enough. Bring it over here. Bring it here, Fury.
boss. I'm all ready to start working. What do I do first? Well, most of the work's already done, but there's always some fence mending to do. Yeah. What's the matter? Don't you want to help me? Well, I am, only... Well, you hired me to give you a hand, but you didn't say nothing about paying me. I thought I was your friend. Well, you are, but business is business. Okay. How much do you figure you're worth? Oh, I figure I ought to get at least 75 cents. An hour? Nah, for all day. I wouldn't ask you, only, well, I want a ball and I'm a little short. Look, I'll go you one better than that. I'll give you a ball. Oh, boy. That's Fred Berry crossing our land. Nice riding, boys. Now, if you'll get those horses off the road, we'll be on our way. You're trespassing, Mr. Berry. Jim said you couldn't cross our land. Your land? Oh, I must have got my directions mixed. This is broken wheel land, and you know it. Look, I ain't got time to argue with kids. Now, get those horses off the road. We might be kids, Mr. Berry, but that doesn't change the fact that you're still trespassing. Yeah, and that's against the law. Sue me. broken one law, he might break others. Come on, let's keep an eye on him. Barry's been rounding up all those horses so fast. Is it against the law, Joey? You bet it is. You're not allowed to round up wild horses with trucks, cars, or anything besides another horse. Then how can he get away with it? I guess he figured nobody'd find out. Look, go back to the emergency phone back at the crossroads and call up the sheriff. What do I say to him? Well, tell him we need help and ask him to get Jim and Pete back at the horse auction. Okay. You're out of sight, Fury. When I yell, come a-running. I'm gonna turn those horses loose. It'll be quite a while before they'll be able to catch them again. Who invited you to the party? I didn't know it was your truck. I just happened to see Save it. your breath. We spotted you sneaking down here. Fury! We got him. That's a blind canyon he's heading into. Stick around. 
strong boy. Boy with big eyes like yours probably has a big mouth, too. Can't take a chance on you doing any talking to get this bunch cleaned out. You better let both me and Fury go if you know what's good for you. Oh, that's just it. I do know what's good for me. Don't worry, boy. I ain't gonna send you a Fury to the slaughterhouse. I can get a better deal with a couple of rodeo buyers I know. breaking the law. Won't you at least get a hold of Jim and Pete and tell them about it? Gee, thanks, Sheriff. Remember, it's by Rimrock Canyon. Golly, I sure had a hard time convincing him I wasn't just imagining things. boys. Load them up as soon as you can. And he'd try to find Jim, too. Okay, now go back to the crossroads and bring him straight here. What about you? You aren't going to stay here alone, are you? Well, as soon as I get Fury loose, I won't be alone. Besides, I got to work a delaying action so those guys won't get away before Jim and the sheriff get here. Let me help. Now, look, you got your orders. Now, get going. But... You want the ball, don't you? Okay, now get going. Come 
on, Fury. Help me get those horses out of here. Go on, Fury, get a moving. Smart, don't you? Come on. It would take me a little time to round those horses up again, but next time I'm going to have any interference. You know what I'm going to do now, don't you? I'll cut what's left of you loose. Tell everybody you helped me rope horses and got tangled up. You won't fool Jim. I just wish you was here to take the ride with you. Maybe you'll be able to tell him that in person. Jim! Hold it right there, Norton. I got this boy of yours tied to that wild horse. <laughs> see him stay alive, you better turn around and go back the way you came. Let him go, Barry. Oh, sure. <laughs> I let him go. You know what'll happen when I do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Newton. Turn around and go back. It's the last time I'm telling you. You got us over a barrel, Jim. Let's go. Oh. 
Jackie, come up here and untie me. he expect to get anything done? Sleeping in the middle of the day. <laughs> Looks to me like he's not going to get anything done for quite some time, Pete. I'll bet Fury's mad. Like he wanted to take care of Barry himself. <laughs> Do it all, Fury. Hey, I reckon that's the sheriff and his deputies coming. Well, looks like the Marines have already landed. This Fred Berry? That's him. He doesn't look like he's been giving you too much trouble. You got a couple hours, Sheriff. I'll fill you in on all the no-good things he's done. I swear, you fellas are gonna run me right out of a job. By the time I get to the scene of the crime, it's already solved. <laughs> Come on, Barry, on your feet. Come on, help you. Come on. Look what Jim got you for a bonus, Packy. Oh, boy, a first baseman's mitt. Mm. What's the use of a mitt without a ball? I thought you were saving up for a ball, Packy. Chewy was going to give me one for my day's work. What do you say to that, boss? Well, he'll get paid. Here comes the paymaster now. 